Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to fix Valorant not opening. All right, so let's begin with the video. First of all, close down every instance of Valorant. What you're gonna do is you're going to open up the hidden apps icon at the bottom. And if Vanguard is running, simply right click on it and exit Vanguard. Once you've done that, right click on the taskbar and open task manager. Now go to the details section and look for something like Valorant or Riot Games. If you see anything, click on it and then click on End Task. If you've done that, you can close this down. After that, right-click on Valorant, go to Open File Location, then go to Riot Games. Inside it, go to Valorant, then you have to go to Live, then go to Shooter Game, go to Binaries, Win64, and then scroll down till you have Valorant Win64 shipping. Now right-click on it, select Properties, and go to Compatibility. Here, click on Disable Full Screen Optimizations. After that, click on Apply and then OK. So the next thing we're going to do is search for Services on your Windows search bar. Inside it, press the V key and we're going to look for VGC. So double click on it and open the Startup Type menu. Change it from Manual to Automatic, click on Apply and then click on Start. When it's loaded, you can click on OK and close it down. Now we're going to search for MS Config. Once it's opened up, you can click on Services and search for VGC again. Once you find it, make sure that the box is ticked. If it's unticked, you want to tick the box, click on it, then click on Apply, and then click on OK. Now we're going to press Windows and R keys at the same time, and Run will be launched. Here we're going to type the following, Sent App, Data, Percent, and press OK. Now in the top, click on App Data, then go to Local, and you should search for Riot Games. Once you find it, open Riot Games. Here go to Riot Client, go to Data, and then here we will have Riot Games Private Settings.yaml. So right click on it, click on Rename, and write dot one at the end. After that, save the changes. Next, we're gonna open Device Manager. For that, search for Device Manager, open it up, and then click on the drop down menu beside Display Adapters. Here, go to your graphics card, right click on it, and then click on Update Driver. Now click on Search Automatically for Drivers and make sure that the best drivers are installed. After that, at this moment, we're going to search for Graphics Settings and open it up. So now you have to look where Valorant is installed. So go to Valorant, right-click on, and click on Open File Location, and copy its path from the top. Now paste it into the floating window and select Valorant. After selecting it, make sure it's on high performance mode. Now close all of this down. And then the last thing that we will do is right click on Valorant, go to Properties, then go to Compatibility. And here, if you have Run This Program as an Administrator enabled, then disable it and then save it. Now the next thing you have to do is restart your PC and you'll be good to go. So that's basically how you can fix Valorant not opening. So that's all for this video. Consider subscribing if you find it helpful, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.